Howdy YouTube, this is Charles from Our Tiny Cabin Project, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Luz Telespeed Fishing Rod. Alright, here it is people, here's the Luz Telespeed Telescopic Micro Fishing Rod. As you can see, it's a really small combination setup. I came here to one of my favorite little spots in Forest Park that's usually pretty good for some panfish, right by this little waterfall. And we're going to see if we can catch some fish. That little big guy. Greeny meeny. A bullhead, yellow belly bullhead catfish. better of sunfish. Alright, let's talk about what I like about the rod. I like that it's got a nice rubberized knob, stylized handle. I like the fact that the bail is a very thick wire. It's not going to bend every from repeated open and closing. I've had problems with even higher end brands that the bail frequently will bend from repeated open and closing or the spring will start to give. Uh, the spring in this feels pretty good. I like the compactness. The material the rod is made out of feels like to be a high quality graphite. I don't like is the tip. The way it comes off at a 90 degree angle right here. My jig heads, when reeled in, if I reel them up all the way, keep wanting to work their way through the eye of the rod. And it's really freaking annoying. Also, the, the casting ability of the rod, I think I have about four pound line on here. So I'm able to cast out a good 50, 60 yards with, you know, a light jig on it. Um, I've caught fish on it. I caught one bass on it. I can pull them in if I work the drag. The drag system seems okay. Um, would I buy it again? For 20 bucks, why not? It's small enough it could literally fit in your glove box. And it seems to be higher quality than those pen rods that you see on Amazon all the time. And it is a name brand. Lose. The reel seems very, very, very similar and comparable to what comes on the Ugly Stick GX2 combo. Now, I do feel that the reel on the GX2 combo is a little better. Doesn't necessarily look as cool, but that wire bale is huge. It's not going to bend on you. And I've been fishing this micro rod for a couple years now, and I've pulled in 5 pound bass on that rod and real combo and it's still going strong whereas some of my full-size medium heavy rods after a year or two of heavy fishing they're dead um, outside of you know setups like my Daiwa 
Also, another thing I don't like is the castability of it, and it's a problem you're going to run in with most telescopic rods, is when you cast it out and you're working the rod back, if you're working like a crankbait or a jig or a jerkbait, the eyes can get out of line and twisted up on you, and that can be problematic. But for a little bitty backpacking fishing rod that you can throw in your glove box and a backpack trail thing, if you just want to catch some bluegill, for 20 bucks I'd say it's worth it. And that's the Lose Telespeed.